In this episode of Grand Theft Auto V, perhaps I will steal many muscle cars. Perhaps I will interrupt Kumbaya. Perhaps I will ride a roller coaster. Expect all three. Rated M for Mature. Okay, all yours, man! Watch out that those wind turbines don't cut to in half! Just by clean energy! What? D oh god, that's uh... I may not make this one. This is like an obstacle course. Guess now would be a good time to say hello everyone and welcome back to more Stephen Plays Grand Theft Auto V. Of course we're starting off with more parachuting missions. Is there still more parachuting missions to do? We managed to do, I think, three last episode, which was good. We also uh, began the preliminary work for the big one, which I presume is the last heist in the game. I mean, I, I assume. I don't know why there would be another one after. Oh, pull it tight. Things are going to get really crazy here in a second. Um, today, after we do this parachuting mission, we're going to begin some of the prep work for the heist. Uh, we have to collect some cars. There's actually a specific type of car. I think I got a, either a text... God, this is dangerous. I got like a text or an email or something from Lester. I just haven't looked at it quite yet. Careful. Careful. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Stay away from the blades. There we go. I had a 94 on one of the ones last time, so let's make sure this one is 100. Fantastic. Excellent job, myself. Uh, gauntlets are required before attempting the ice. Check your email for location. So, um, I got a text from Lester. There's an LSPD van holding spike strips in the rear car park at the South LS police station. I've got the hacker looking for some gauntlet muscle cars that we can modify. Expect an email about that shortly. Okay, so that's one thing we need. And then emails. Uh, there was an email from Amanda, and then car locations. The four muscle cars were going with Bravado Gauntlets. I modded one, and the test worked well, so we just need three more. Hacker pulled some images from the CCTV network showing models in LS. They got average skills, and so picks aren't the best or worst. With a little detective work, you should be able to find them. Any three gauntlets will do if these ones don't work out. Get them, take them to LS Customs for modding, and drop them in the lockup. Picks below. Uh, Pillbox Hill, multi-story car park downtown. Okay. Rockford Hills by the end. Classy shops in Rockford Hills. Okay. Uh, Mission Row near some shit hotel, the Templar. Lester. I guess we should get started. Steal the police van. Yeah, that's... That's easy. Especially in the rain. It is easy... In fact, it is easier in the rain. I think I'm going to actually take a, uh... Take a lesson here from my GTA Online days? GTA Online days? And, uh, go in through up here. Jesus, this is... This is freaking scary, man. There's like a bajillion police. And I'm a little worried that they're all going to come after me as soon as I get in there. Does it work like that? Wait, wait, wait. There's someone... Is there someone in the car? I'm not sure. Drop down. Sneak. Where is the guy? Is there a guy in the van? I can't tell. No. No one knows I took this. Really? I find that very hard to believe. Huh. Okay. Wow. That went incredibly smoothly. Dang. I, I was just expecting it to not. I mean, this is like the last one, the big score, whatever. I was expecting something different. All right, well, let's go ahead and store this thing. Where are we putting this exactly? Near the strip club? Just storing it under the bridge. All right. Wow. Holy crap, that was easy. Huh. Mission pass. Stingers. Not a scratch. Escape B. Never even saw anybody. Sweet. Lester, I got the spike strips we need. Good. Now, once we have all the modified gauntlets, we take this score. 
Alrighty. Modified gauntlets it is. We have his emails. Let's see if we can use it to locate the vehicles. Alright, here is definitely the car park they were talking about in the, uh, in the email. This was pretty easy to find. Somewhere in the car park is a bravado. You guys are jeeps. You are not what we're looking for. I am... <laughs> I am not following the rules of the road here. There we are. Son of a gun. Mod it. It already looks beautiful. I mean, we can get some bulletproof tires or whatever. Take the getaway vehicle to Los Santos Customs. Or take the getaway vehicle off this cool friggin' roof. Because this friggin' roof is a friggin' jump. Get some speed, baby. Oh, it's going down. Yeah! I wonder if I was going fast enough. Because I'm starting to wonder if I was going fast enough to do that jump. Let's try to level this out in the air. A little bit. I am a little concerned. Well, that sucked. If only I could have gotten here in one piece. I wouldn't have had to pay as much money to get it fixed up in the first place. Alright, cool. So, first we have to repair it. And then... I am going to... Wait, gold preparation. Prepare vehicle for gold heist. What? Oh, bec oh, you have to pay to have it even hold the gold. Wow. So it's going to cost at least that much. Okay, so that's done. Then there's extras in case we want armor. Bulletproof tires. Tinted windows. Turbo. Why not? I can afford it. And now to choose some really sweet colors. I like it. Plus, I have an idea for uh, the color scheme I'm going to use with these cars, so... Cool. Costs like a bajillion dollars, but that's done. I'm assuming now all we gotta do is take it to the lockup. And we gotta get two more of these. I thought that they said that we would have four cars. Maybe I just missed that part. Maybe... Um, maybe Franklin's gonna use his bravado? I have no idea. I'm not entirely certain. But they only gave me locations for three, and I thought for sure they told me four. But that would not be the first time I did not pay full attention, so... Whatever. Also, this thing is freaking fast. Holy crap. And we are... At the lockup. Hello. And... Goodbye. Have fun in their little car. I got better stuff to do. Alright, now it's probably not going to finish the mission. Not until I have the other cars, I'm supposing. Mission pass, gauntlet. Oh, actually, no. Actually, I have to presumably do that gauntlet mission two more times. Okay. Let's go find us another car. Oh, apparently I can't read. He said that he modded one and it worked well, so we just need three more. So he has one. We just need three more. Okay, yeah, we can do that. The next place we have to go is Rockford Hills. by the high-end classy shops in Rockford Hills. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take us there. I believe this is the place. Is this it? This looks like it. We just gotta find the car. The car's probably gonna be nearby somewhere in this general vicinity, because I'm next to the shops. I just gotta drive around until I see said car. The car could also be down one of these random streets. I know it's nearby, I'm just not exactly sure where that- oh wait! That... That is pay dirt right there. Also, don't ask how I got this police car. It's very... <laughs> it's not important. Do 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 Everybody look away! Oh wait! Why didn't I- I didn't have to like break the window and get into the car? And no one's going to report this stolen? Well, that's kind of confusing. All right, let's go mod it. That looks nice. I'm going to keep that white racing stripe, no matter the color of the car. In retrospect, maybe I shouldn't have went with a black car um, with the first modification and went with colors, but whatever. It's fine. Done and done. Gauntlet, again. All right, time to go get that third car. You're probably saying, Steven, how did you get into this predicament? Well, 
I guess it's not a long story, but I saw a guy with a tow truck at an intersection, and I was like, man, you almost never see those. I'm going to get that tow truck. So then I, you know, I got that tow truck, and then there was a cop coming because I got that tow truck. And I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if I could, like, pick up the cop car? That'd be neat. And then I did. And now I'm on my way over to this Templar Hotel, and I'm dragging this police car behind me. Oh, there it is, Templar Hotel. So somewhere around here is the car I need. And I've got three stars, and that is just wonderful. So where is this stupid car? There it is. Oh, that's just great. All right, well, uh, huh. This is a little unfortunate. I am probably going to have to lose the police just a little bit before I'm able to proceed with this. Man, this is kind of nice. Like, it add, it acts kind of like a battering ram. Oh, look, more police. All right, I let it go. Sorry, bro. Where did I see that? Where's the Templar? Right here? Okay. I'm going to circle around, and I'm going to grab this car, and then I'm going to run as fast as I friggin' can. Other side of the car. Get in. Get in. Get in quick before we die. Before we die, lose the cops. Yeah, I probably could have figured that out myself. It shouldn't be too hard, to be honest. I'm in a really, really friggin' fast car. Okay, but they're in pretty fast cars too. Okay, there's a guy right behind me. I need to not attack... Oh, shoot. I need to not attack them, though, because if I attack them, then I am going to work my way up to four stars, and that is going to make everything a whole lot worse. Let's focus on losing them, shall we? this direction. They are far away. They are far away. This control... This this car's controlling. Like, the steering on this car is really quite bad. It's very fast, but the controls very poorly. Alright, I've lost them. That wasn't so bad, right? Now I'll just focus on finishing this off, and then uh, we'll go put it in the lockup. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You sour suck. Because I went with black for the first one and blue for the second one, and then I was like, darn, I wish I would not have done black. I decided to do another identical car from the first one. Now I kind of wish that they were all just identical because it looked really sweet, but Lester did the first one and I have no say in what that looks like. So I'm going to imagine that this and the first one were supposed to match, and then this, the second one I did is just whatever, and then that one will go with uh, whatever Lester got. Yeah, that seems fine. Let's go put it in the lockup. I mean, they look nice. They're really nice looking cars. So I'm not like bummed out or anything. Looks good. Probably should have shut the car off before I got out of it. Eh, whatever. Mission passed. That means that we will be calling Lester very shortly. While I am while my character's figuring out how to do that, I'm going to work towards getting myself a car cuz otherwise I'm not going to be able to get out of here. Let's take this one. Come on, Les. Third and final gauntlets, primed and ready. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need, but we'll meet at the strip club. Fan freaking tastic. And altitude. Oh! <laughs> that was pretty sweet. But, before we head over there, because we're, we're simply not going to have enough time to start the heist this episode. We should utilize our time and do something else. And there's not really a whole lot of other things left, but there are a few straggler uh, parachute missions that we haven't done. Well, actually, maybe just maybe just one. Crap. Well, let's uh, let's go take care of that. My buddy's got his boat out. I can drop you over it if you want. <laughs> that sounds spectacular. And also, I did just check, and yes, this is the last parachute jump. So, awesome. Okay, you see the boat down there? Reckon you can land on that? Dude, I can do anything. I'm an expert. Pacific tour. Let's do it! Parachute onto the boat. Wait, that... That tiny little thing? You kidding me? Let's swoop. Swooping. Whoa, I was swooping hard. I got it. Yeah, nice, bro. You nailed it. 
Thanks. Can I, like... Okay. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> nice, bro. You nailed it. Hey, hey, where are you going? Does that kill him? No, he's all right. I mean, he's not doing so hot, but... <laughs> Yeah, that that's gonna yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Look at him. He's good. You good? Okay, he's probably not good after that. Let me see if I could just get back on land here. Speeder bike. What's up, bros? Oh look, a bonfire. I know how to make this bonfire much more enjoyable. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a terrible person. But we knew that. I'm Michael. And he is not a good dude. Anyway, um... Wait, what the balls? What the piss weapon is this? What the... AP pistol? I apparently haven't actually used this weapon before because... I also, now I'm screwed. Now I'm friggin' screwed. Anyway, let's uh, let's focus on getting out of here, and then I'll end the episode properly. Oh, god, doggone it. I decided that a really, really cool way to end the episode would be to try out the fairground rides, because I've just simply never done that before. Sayonara bike. <laughs> did I do pretty good? Where did, where did Splash down at? I don't know. Somewhere out there in the middle of nowhere. Alright, I lived. That was the point. I didn't want to fly off the thing. There's uh, there's two amusement rides back here, though, that I've never ridden. And uh, I don't even know how they work. But we don't have enough time to do the heist, and there's not very many things left to do in uh, on, the, on the map right now. So I figured that that would be something we could do. Actually, can we buy stuff from the vendors? Because we could in... We could in four. What's your problem, you hip cock? Yeah, like okay, it looks like we can't. We can insult them, but we can't buy stuff from them. But there is both a Ferris wheel and a roller coaster over here. And uh, I think that we can ride each of them. But I gotta go find out what... What that entails. What it costs. And how it works. I'm assuming we just walk up to... This? Ride the Ferris wheel. Ferris whale. Eight bucks. Okay, let's get on. This is pretty cool that they, you know, did this. Change view. Oh my god, I'm doing it. Look at me go. There's this view, and then there's this view. And then there's exit the ride, because I want to get off. And that's that. Okay, well, <laughs> that's not in entirely thrilling, but at least I can say I've, I've tried it now. Let's avoid all this garbage and go over to the roller coaster. How do I... Do I just walk up to the station? Hello. Certainly. The Leviathan. 15 bucks? For a single ride? That seems a little ridiculous, but okay. There's no different viewpoints. All right, here we go. Someone wants, someone really wants off. Woo! God, it's like Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, except a lot better. This is awesome. This is a lot more exciting than the Ferris wheel. I had no idea you could do this. And there's also lines from Michael in the background, which means that depending on who you brought here, there would be different lines, which is pretty sweet. Yeah! I did it. That was $15, but you know what? That was actually kind of fun. Are you hey. taking a picture? Hello, sweetheart. Aw, hey! No, come back! No, I didn't mean it! <laughs> I guess you can't ride any of the other stuff. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, next episode, we will do the heist. It's pretty cool. This is the big one. Not even sure how it's going to go or how crazy it's going to be, but knowing Grand Theft Auto V, the scope is probably going to be magnificent. And I'm excited.
See you guys next time. Really? <laughs> really? Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. Woo! There is a lot of gold in here. We're just holding on to it for the Chinese. Now well, you ever want to keep it in the United States? <laughs> sure, take what you can carry. <laughs> 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 That's good stuff. <laughs> uh.